background on advanced clinical training for our first timers on the call. And if you're not familiar with us, we are a leading online training and certification provider in the healthcare industry. And our goal is to provide quality education that prepares students to excel in the competitive healthcare landscape. Um, we offer simulation-based instructor-led trainings um, to deliver the best learning experience possible for students um, to learn in both an interactive and asynchronous format um, to gain the skills necessary to enter into an entry-level position in as little as eight to 12 weeks. Um, so we hope that you continue to consider us to support you in your pre-health journey. And without further ado, I want to um, introduce today's speakers, Dr. Znair and Mayin. I'm just going to briefly read over uh, a portion of their bio. And Dr. Nair brings over um, a decade of experience in healthcare leadership, program management, and academic instruction. As a highly accomplished professional, Dr. Nair demonstrates expertise in strategic development, administrative oversight, um, fostering external relations with educational and um, public health settings. And Dr. Mayin is the Director of Programs and Partnership Development at the UCSC Silicon Valley Extension. And she is deeply passionate about STEM, educational psychology, social justice as a vehicle for cultivating future leaders and learners. So with that, I'd like to kick it off to our presenters for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, um. Mine, can you share your screen with the presentation, please? I can. Yeah, thank you. So hi, everybody, welcome. Um, Advanced Clinical, thank you so much, Jenny, for uh, giving us this opportunity to present about our pre-med post back program at uh, UC uh, Santa Cruz, Silicon Valley Extension. Um, my name is Deepti Nair. I'm the senior director for the pre-med post -bac program. And um, I'm a physician uh, with um, public health background as well. I've done my master's in public health from UC Berkeley. And uh, I've been in this role since, uh, it, it's a little over seven months now since I've been here. And I'm excited to talk to you all about, <clears throat> excuse me, about, um, uh, you know, the gap year options and, uh, uh, about our program as well. So, uh, Mayan, can you move on to the next slide, please? Thank you. So, um, so what is a post-baccalaureate program? So uh, there are different pathways that students use to uh, progress from K-12 to university to med school residency. Uh, it may be via community colleges or directly to undergrad um, undergrad uh, degrees at universities. And what happens in between university and med school? What happens is sometimes uh, students have, um, you know, a problem with their GPA. They, uh, you know, you realize that your GPA has not been your strongest point. And do not despair that, you know, everything is lost. It's, it is not like that. So utilize your gap years um, productively in terms of using a, a post back program as a bridge to medical school. So um, post back programs begin right after you complete your undergraduate degree. It is basically designed to assist with transition from undergrad to professional graduate level education. That is um, med schools. <clears throat> now, um, students have the option of going to grad school or post pack program. So what is the difference and what are the advantages of um, both of them? So grad school, um, it's a matriculated program. So you get a degree at the end of the program. Whereas post pack programs are not degree programs, but most of them, I mean, at least some of them do um, offer professional certificates at the conclusion of the program. So you could do something like a traditional master, such as master's in public health, um, business, or other non-science fields. So this is uh, um, just to enhance your application and kind of differentiate, um, you know, your uh, position. That's that's all um, master's degree do, does. So 
so these mas uh, these programs that is the master's degree programs are best for students who have graduated with you know they have excellent grades good gpa and it just shows that um, the student is more um, you know ready for advanced level work that is required for med schools but is that a necessity to get into med school definitely not so even a post fact program is definitely uh, uh, you know a, something that can enhance your application that shows your upward trend in the gpa and will definitely help you get into med school Having said that, um, let's move on to the next slide, please. So um, the different types of um, post -back programs that are around, we have one for academic enhancers, career changers, and traditional masters that I was talking to you guys about. So academic enhancers are students who have completed the prerequisite courses, that is, um, a year of um, physics with labs, a year of um, chemistry, general chemistry with labs, general organic chemistry with labs, and uh, biology with labs. So, so they have already completed their, uh, you know, prerequisites, but they would still like to um, show an upward trend in their GPA. So those students are the academic enhancers who can take um, post back programs that can be done in uh, a very short time, like within a year's time, they can be done with the post back program. <clears throat> the next one is um, career changers. So career changers are students who have, um, you know, either come from a field that is totally different from science and they are interested in um, getting into med school. Now they want to change their careers and get into med school. Um, the other set of uh, students that uh, qualify as career changers are students who have taken the prerequisite courses, but it's been a while since they took those courses, like maybe um, five plus years. And uh, med schools, they do need um, more recent um, you know, uh, information. So those students are also career changers. So uh, career changers essentially have to take um, lower science courses. That is, um, you know, the same prerequisites that I mentioned that academic enhancers already come with. Those are the courses that career changers will need to take. And this might, uh, the program for career changers might take up to three years, depending on whether it's done part-time or full-time. So um, that is career changes. Uh, next slide, please. So now um, I did mention about um, master's degree programs that are available as well as post -bac programs. So what are the advantages of a post -bac program? So first of all, it is a bridge to med school. Okay, so there are different components of a post -bac program that will help enhance the student's application. It's not just the coursework. Okay, so um, MCAT prep component is a very important part of a post -bac program. Um, so um, th then flexibility. So flexibility, when I, when I say flexibility, it's like... Um, post -bac programs could be structured as well as unstructured. So students who require flexibility if they are working uh, full-time or they are working part-time, it really depends on how they would like to take their courses at their convenience and at their time. So uh, post back programs that are unstructured offer this kind of uh, flexibility. Then customization. So what I mean by customization is students um, depending on their situation, like depending on their transcripts, depending on their GPA, uh, we can advise, a post bac program can advise uh, students to take certain courses over certain other courses. So it, it's, it's essentially customizing as per the student's needs. Then <clears throat> extracurricular activities that come along with this. So extracurricular activities like, uh, you know, shadowing, clinical opportunities, research opportunities, then physician mentors, mentorship with, um, you know, practicing physicians, networking opportunities, research opportunities are all different components of um, a good post -bac program. Um, academic advising is um, another thing. Academic advising, career counseling, when it comes to 
um, you know, preparing your med school application. <clears throat> That's a long process. It takes a long time. And, uh, you know, students do need a lot of support writing their personal statements, preparing their essays, the primaries, the secondaries. So all this, a good postback program will have components of this that can um, help students in every step of their application process, the diversity and inclusion. The next slide, please. Mm -hmm. So coming to the mission of our postback program, our um, program at UCSC, it's a relatively new program. Our mission is to help you succeed in your journey to med school by strengthening your academic skills, developing your professional goals and ambitions, and making you a more competitive candidate. Our program is um, essentially a partnership between the UC Santa Cruz Silicon Valley Extension and the Global and Community Health Program at the UC Santa Cruz main campus. Our uh, missions are aligned with the overarching objectives of UCSC in that we are committed to fostering collaboration with the community and actively contributing to the well-being and development of our communities, particularly the underserved populations via taking and supporting underrepresented students. Um, we do have two locations currently. One is in Silicon Valley that is already functioning. And we are starting a new cohort in the Central Coast. So details of this will be mentioned by Mayan as she speaks. Um, so that is our newest offering, in-person Central Coast cohort. This is for academic enhancers. It, um, the students who are enrolled, who are admitted, um, would uh, would be underrepresented students from the Central Coast area. So it will be fully uh, funded for up to 10 students. And um, applications for this uh, would open up on May 7. Deadline to apply would be July 7. And um, classes would start on September 26, 2024. Uh, I think Mayan, you can take yep. the lead from there. Yeah. Yeah, this is me. Uh, hi, everybody. So glad to have you in this talk with us today. My name is Dr. Mayan Udowatuk. Um, I am a former chemist and a trained educational psychologist. Um, as Jenny mentioned earlier, I am deeply passionate about learning what happens cognitively when people are learning in various settings. Uh, and what I currently do is um, helping to develop this pre-med postback program. And we're really hoping that everything we present to you entices you to not only participate in the postback program, but to participate in our postback program. We would love to have you here. So as Deepthi mentioned, when it comes to postback programs in general, uh, but specifically our postback program, we are very focused on helping you achieve your journey to become a future physician. Uh, we are currently in the United States experiencing a massive shortage of physicians. Uh, so you as a future physician is critically needed. Uh, when it comes to your participation in the post-bac program, particularly our post-bac program, there are some prerequisites that I would like to make you aware of. So for all students who are interested in participating in our program, we do require that all of you have completed your bachelor's degree. Uh, so if you are a senior, um, a junior, sophomore, freshman in college, you're not quite eligible, but as soon as you graduate and your bachelor's degree has been conferred, uh, you will become eligible to be a postdoc student in our program. Uh, currently, while this next part is not required, it is highly recommended that when you come into our program, you have a minimum cumulative GPA of 3.0 and also a minimum science GPA of 3.0. Uh, and I just want to emphasize that right now, this is not required, um, but our program is constantly evolving. So uh, that could be a requirement years from now. Uh, right now it is not, so it is a great time to join the program. For academic enhancers, we do require that you have the following, and Deepi touched on this earlier. We do require that if you are an academic enhancer, you are a person who has uh, generally taken uh, your uh, pre prerequisites for medical school. Uh, in saying so, um, we would like to see you come into our program having completed one year of general chemistry with labs, one year of organic chemistry with labs, one year of physics with labs, and one year of biology with labs. 
when it comes to career changers, you are students who completed your undergraduate studies in a non-pre-med major. And so generally what happens there is that you come in needing to take all of the prerequisites uh, for medical school. So through our post -bac program, we'll be providing you the opportunity to do so. Now, when it comes to what we offer, why would you want to join our program when you have the pick of the litter uh, for all kinds of post -bac programs in different areas? Um, well, one of the key things in a post -bac program that students are seeking are science courses. Of course, when you apply to the medical school, they want to see that you have not only taken, but very well succeeded in the completion of those courses. We've partnered with the UCLA Extension to offer their live online science courses. And so we do have a list of those courses on our website if you're interested. Um, we've also partnered with Kaplan to offer a highly discounted live online MCAT prep course. So when you save, when you sign up with us for the live online MCAT prep course with Kaplan, you'll save about $1,000. Uh, it'll be almost double that, um, or sorry, almost $1,000 more uh, if you sign up with Kaplan directly. Through our program, we also offer one-on-one uh, -on -one career counseling. So if you need to get a little bit more specific and have some more clarity as to how to chart your journey to medical school, we do offer that so that you can succeed while you are planning that journey. We offer free pre-academic advising, and this service is so that students can have some guidance when it comes to what courses they should enroll in when it comes to participating in our program. We offer two workshops that are um, interactive and built to help you become a very competitive medical school applicant. Uh, the first workshop listed here is the medical school application workshop. Uh, it is currently underway. Um, and when we have this course, it's a 10 week course, and you, you will have an experience to sit down with the instructor to go through each and every aspect of not only learning the medical school application process, but building your application as well. We also offer the careers in medicine workshop, uh, and this is where you will sit with uh, physicians who are currently practicing, some retired physicians as well, residents and other healthcare professionals, and you'll plan out your healthcare career and hear from their experience, um, different challenges and different ways that they've overcome those challenges. Uh, enrollment is now open, so we highly encourage you to go ahead and sign up for that course. Um, the first 20 students to enroll will have the course be waived for them. Uh, part one is scheduled to be on May 4th. Uh, part two is to be is scheduled to be May 18th. Both of these are Saturdays. Uh, both meeting sessions will be from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. We also have uh, several professional linkages, and this list is ever growing for us. So uh, if you um, contact us maybe a couple of weeks or even months from now, you will see this list even further expanded. And in doing so, we offer even more support for you on your academic journey. Uh, so to start, we've partnered with Me Mentor, and this is a three-year contract that we've signed with this organization. Through this organization, students will be provided with eight months of mentorship on your journey to becoming a medical school student and a physician. We've also partnered with Kaiser Permanente, uh, which is a huge, massive hospital system. And through that partnership, we were able to offer short-term shadowing opportunities and experiences to students. We've also partnered with the Represent program. And this is by physicians from the Kaiser Permanente Medical Group. And through this partnership, students will be provided opportunities to experience um, clinical opportunities, research, mentorship opportunities, and more. And lastly, we've partnered with the National Alliance of Research Associations program. And through this, students will have the opportunity to be exposed to research, ex specifically through literature reviews, database development, IRB paperwork, and protocol piloting, and also gain some clinical experience. Now, specifically calling out me mentor, uh, this is a national organization that focuses very strongly on making sure that the future generations of healthcare professionals are one-on-one -on -one mentored so that they will be very confident and have self-efficacy when it comes to not only becoming a medical school student, uh, but becoming a very thoughtful and well-versed physician. Why would you be interested in being mentor? Well, there are several benefits to that program. You'll meet with a team of mentors and through those meetings, uh, you'll have help and assistance when it comes to accomplishing your academic and professional goals. You'll also have exclusive access to events, courses, resources, and really exciting network opportunities. 
In this partnership, students will also have the opportunity to learn new tips and strategies when it comes to navigating each and every aspect of the healthcare industry, which will also include how to apply uh, to health profession schools. You also have the opportunity to discover new enrichment programs and scholarships that are available to you. And there's so much more. So again, we are very excited to offer you our program and want to give you a little bit more insight into how our program is set up. Um, as Deepthi mentioned, we are piloting two locations, one in the Silicon Valley and one in the Central Coast. When it comes to the Silicon Valley, um, there is no application currently, but do be aware when you join in the Silicon Valley location, um, you join via enrolling in courses. Uh, and just as a heads up, the courses that we currently offer in that location are either live online or hybrid. Now, if you're a student who happens to be situated in the Central Coast area, so this could be Watsonville, Marina, Salinas, uh, Santa Cruz, um, as Zifti mentioned, we are looking forward to having a fall 2024 cohort, which will be in person for academic enhancers only. So not career changers, uh, career changers and academic enhancers will be uh, welcome in our Silicon Valley program largely through um, their ability to self-pay for the program. But when it comes to the Central Coast, uh, this is for students who have been identified to be from disadvantaged um, and underrepresented backgrounds, and again, are only for academic enhancers. In that program, there'll be up to one year of support. There'll also be 10 scholarships available for those students that qualify. There will be $12,000 worth of scholarships per student. Uh, so that's a really major opportunity. There is an application associated with uh, the Central Coast cohort and applications will open uh, May 7th and will close July 7th. Classes will start September 24th of this year. So in terms of the timeline, what can you expect? If you're an academic enhancer, you will generally spend about one year completing coursework in a post-bac program. If you are a career changer, on the other hand, uh, you'll typically spend about two to three years completing COVID coursework in a post-bac program. Overall, your schedule will highly depend on the courses that you take and when those courses are scheduled. When it comes to cost, your total cost also depends on the courses that you take. Our program is quite unique in that you come in and you only take and sign up for the courses that you need. Uh, so that can vary the cost. Our workshops right now range between uh, $200 and $1,050. The science courses that are offered through UCLA Extension range from $400 to $2,100. And keep in mind, if it's a course that includes labs, then additional fees will be added by UCLA Extension. Um, as I mentioned, we partnered with Kaplan for the live online MCAT prep course. That cost is $1,550 when you sign up through us. Uh, if you are a student who's in need of financial assistance or private loans, please feel free to visit our website for additional information. I would also like to note that our extension is not currently available for financial aid. Definitely let us know if you have any questions during this webinar or feel free to reach out to us at postback at ucsc.edu. We would love to hear, you, hear from you and even more, we would love to see you participating in our program. Thank you. Thank you so much for the valuable information you've shared. I'm sorry, I'm having a lot of issues with my video, so it's not turning back on for some reason, but I don't see any comments in the chat. So I will kick off the Q&A with, is there a GPA requirement to participate in your post -back program? There is, and so um, we are recommending right now that if you're coming into our post -back program, to be successful in the program, we would love to see that you have a minimum uh, 3.0 cumulative GPA uh, in addition to a minimum 3.0 science GPA. Uh, DP, anything to add there? No, it's just that it is um, highly recommended but not required currently as Maya mentioned. Thank you. Are there any other questions from our audience this afternoon? I don't see any in the chat. So where are uh, most of the participants from? Are they from um, the West Coast or East Coast? Uh, we have our students scattered across mm -hmm. um, the nation. So if folks on the line can put in the chat where you're signed in from so we know who's joined us today. OK. 
Okay, I see someone from New York City. Okay, we have some New York folks on the call. Massachusetts, okay. Yep, so we support students across across the country with their pre-health journey. So thank you all so much for joining us today. Um, I know you have your contact information shared on here. So if there are any questions, I see someone from Pennsylvania as well. Um, please feel free to reach out to the email provided if you need some assistance with either signing up for um, this uh, post back program or have any questions, general questions about the process itself. Um, I don't see any questions anywhere. So I do want to thank you so much again, Drs. Mayen and um, Nair for joining us this afternoon. And we hope to have you back soon to talk more about your programs and how students can take advantage of all the benefits that you've mentioned. Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Hope you have a good one. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.